Well, fortunately, in the state of Texas, uh, by our constitution, we are required to have a balanced budget. Uh, and, and just like our family lives within its means, our state is required to do that as well. We're also fortunate that we have a pretty dynamic and expanding economy that has allowed us, and smartly so, to put away funds in a, a rainy day fund to use for unexpected expenses, and that's kind of what our family does too. So, so I was glad to see that the, the legislature was able to come together, was able to address some, some priority issues in the budget, was able to restore some of the funding that had been cut out of public education, which was needed to uh, make sure that we're maintaining the quality of educa education. I agree that money is not always the answer. I think our school districts have to also adopt those types of best practices that businesses ad adopt to make sure that they're all operating as efficiently not only in our region but across our state. So, so I was glad, glad for those things. I was very pleased to see uh, the legislature move to uh, put Proposition 6 on the ballot so that, and the voters overwhelmingly passed the Proposition 6, which was the water funding, the $2 billion funding that I mentioned earlier, because that is such a, a critical need. Um, otherwise, um, as it relates to budgeting going forward, what I mentioned earlier, I think, is, is still very much the case. We need to look at all areas of our government and how it's operated to make sure it's operating efficiently, to make sure that technology is being used to, to get the most results without with the least amount of money. I noticed just recently uh, when we're filing our campaign finance reports, we have a technology system that allows them to do this electronically, but it's using technology that was probably written at least 20 years ago. To say that it's not user-friendly is a huge understatement. If I see that as it relates to candidates running for office, I can only imagine how many other individuals, taxpayers, and businesses are faced with the same type of frustration when they're trying to interact with our government. And trying to eliminate that kind of waste and inefficiency is very important.